people. Got a beautiful morning out of here. Indonesia, Bali. Oh yeah. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? How is my Corona gang hanging? Let me get my straw. The thing. The thing to keep me awake. Ah. Perfecto, my man. Perfecto. Perfecto. Thank you for asking. Okay. Great, man. Amazing. Amazing. Um, just working my ass off. It's like any other day, man. And you? What's up in your camp? Anthony Trucks. Oh, I see some Forex traders here, guys. <clears throat> we still have five spots open for uh, the second stage of our funding program. Um, so if you're um, one of those traders, um, it is our mission to create 200 uh, associate fund managers, which is basically um, managers of pieces of my fund because the goal of fast for fund is to create a franchise where um, where forex educators mentors uh, experienced traders are able to you know reproduce and give out knowledge to other people but not not just knowledge the, the goal is to get to get people on um, on two million dollar trading account right through our, through our funding process because um, i've seen that there is um, there is few problems with forex traders out there and, and and the one that's not is knowledge so they have exceptional knowledge a lot of knowledge too much knowledge right um and and now you know all of that now you don't know what to use right because a lot of times you feel lost you want to start a business let's say you don't know how to start a business because Basically, you know how to start a business, but you don't know where to start because it's so much shit to do. You don't have a step-by-step -step guide, somebody telling you, hey, this is the first thing you need to do, this is the second thing you need to do. That's what we do, exceptionally. I create systems. Um, and then the other thing, um, lack of management, discipline. Wow, discipline is the biggest shit in, uh, most important in trading. And then it's, uh, of course, lack of capital. And here is where we come in, partner with banks and institutions. And um, they give us money to play with. Um, a lot to play with. I gotta be serious, but yeah. Um, money to trade with, to grow our trading accounts. Um, and I think that's also their way of raising up the, um, the next generation of traders because the whole mission, the whole goal is to then provide a service, a third party trading service um, as a fund to, to banks and institutions. So yeah, for any traders watching, we still have few, few, few spots left. Um, so I guess now is the time because stage two, I'm doing doubles. So meaning you're gonna be, uh, you know, going through the process with one other trader on the team. You switched up, not every week the same. Or if you have a friend, two friends can be together. Um, but then the stage three, it's I think five by five and then 10 and 20s and 30s. It's just because I don't have that much time, you know? Um, so yeah, currently it's like 35 guys. I have to make 35 one hour meetings every week. So that's three full days out of a week just for, uh, you know, keeping my traders in check and giving them the proper, the proper knowledge and guidance. So, but then the, a billion dollar company is not gonna get made by, by itself, right? Is there anybody here has any questions while we wait for our Mr. Truck?
Hello, sir. What's up? Do we have any forex traders here? Can somebody reply if there is any forex traders here? Oh, microdosing, amazing, man. Um, yeah, I, ju I just, I just took it. Um, so, microdosing is is really simple, bro. Um, it's any type of psy psychedelic, it will work. Some people even do it with marijuana, but I'm, I, I don't, I don't like that. Uh, makes you lazy and shit. Um, but with microdosing, you don't even feel. You take, let's say, you take mushrooms, you know, magic mushrooms. Um, and uh, we take like that little, you know, like just a little piece of a, of a one cap of, 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 a, of a mushy. And what it does is just expands your mind, expands your mind. You're not going to even know it. You don't even notice it. Maybe it's going to make you feel good. Maybe. But it's, I wouldn't say, you know, expect something noticeable, nothing noticeable like out there. But what it does is... Um, really expands your mind you start thinking uh in directions that you didn't think before so let's say a clear example because i know that you know everybody wants to make money everybody's into business or if not at least i am um and and basically all my personal development and growth is around that you know how do i become better and bigger and stronger and faster and smarter and better at communication and better at uh, i don't know sales and better at this and better at that better at attracting things and stuff um, so if you today can earn a million dollars now you're gonna be able to earn multiple millions of dollars if you today can earn let's say a thousand dollars and you always earn a thousand dollars always earn a thousand dollars you're gonna try microdosing you're gonna do it for a month you're gonna look back you're gonna be like sheesh man this month I actually fucking made three thousand dollars but just be mindful, you know, if you don't make now $3,000, is it only because of this microdosing of mushrooms? Or is maybe because you didn't do the fucking work or you didn't change nothing, right? Be ready, you know, to, to do something that your mind and body is now going to be pushing you towards. Um, you know, I bet that you guys are not lazy a a anyways. So um, you're probably doing something, you want to do something more or whatever. Uh, but it really just expands your mind on a subconscious level um, because 95 percent of the, the the brain power is anyway you know this back brain that um, that that is governing your life and it's basically just you on the repeat you know whatever you and and at any point did it's you on the repeat and then you have this you know uh, four brain which is logical thinking brain um, and, um, and, and, and when you take microdosing, you're going to start expanding this brain. So you're not consciously going to be aware of it, but it is going to make a serious difference. So why did I start microdosing? Simply because multiple high level, but I'm talking like seriously high level individuals, people that own chains of uh, clubs, like. I don't know, like, 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 like Omnia, like Tao, like, uh, like, um, like, you know, stuff, big stuff like that. Um, told me the same stuff, you know, when they tried it, when they, um, when they started it, Bill Gates, for example, um, you know, just Google it, just Google it. And maybe it's going to be a little harder to find because it's illegal, because it's too good to be true, because it's so powerful, right? They don't want us to have it. Uh, but you can have cigarettes and alcohol, it's fucking killing you. Um, but yeah, that, that convinced me at some point we just like fucking clicked. And from the same day that I started taking it, um, I got eight news. I'm not joking. This is the story. Eight news in that single day, all eight news, super exceptional news, like on different fronts, business, home, relationships, whatever. 
uh, all super, super, super exciting news. Um, so yeah, bro, I cannot recommend it more. Okay, real will prevail. Hey, Luca, how much experience do we need in the market to apply? Um, it's not about how long have you been trading. It's not about how much experience you have. It's about you knowing the basics. So if you know, you know, the basics, um, if you can place a trade, if you sometimes also place a profitable trade, um, then that would be something that would probably be more than enough more than enough where is my guy Anthony would be more more than enough um, would be more enough because basically look all of our guys here oh Alec is here is one of our one of our guys um, how many hey, intermezzo how many days a week you can recommend it every day in the week bro how many days in the week you want to be expanding your freaking mind man <laughs> you know Stop listening to, to, to other people's bullshit uh, and stuff like that, you know. Nobody knows except people that are using it. And even then, they are fucking pussies. Um, I don't set limits to nothing, man. There is no downtime. At some point, you're going to forget about it and that's going to be your downtime. But most of the times, you're going to take it and that's it. Hey, Alec, mm, if you're here, you want to jump in on my life real quick? Deja vu, just fucking go for it. Hey, uh, and for Yo. you guys, oh, like my man, what's up? I'm good, I'm finishing my workout. I'm running and I'm listening to you. <laughs> crazy, crazy, man, that's-, that's I'm finishing my Elevate 32. Amazing. Finishing my Elevate 32 for tonight. How long is Sorry your- Sorry for the- Oh, it's, uh, it's 20 minutes so far. Nice, 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 nice. And Sorry for the sweating and not the good thing, but it is what it is, you know. Where where are you? Where are you currently? I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, United States. Nice, Anthony. Just give me a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, hey, bro. Hey, some guys here are asking, um, you know, what type of, um, how many experience do they need to join our uh, our uh, our trading floor and, uh, and and funding process? Well, I believe that a lot of a lot of people think that the, the, the most important thing is to know a strategy or to really be profitable. But I think if you really know the basics, just like you said, 90% after that is mindset, how teachable you are and how open you are to uh, how much you will are willing to change, you know, to, to really uh, listen to people who have already what you need and what you want in your life. So I believe that the most important thing is that how open are you to listen and to be teachable and after that to put them in work because that was my uh, biggest uh, lesson. I could, I was read all these books, all these seminars, you know, and I didn't apply. I had knowledge, but if you don't apply the knowledge, it's like you don't know nothing. So yeah, that's 100%. what I, I believe. Yeah. I, I see a lot of guys, uh, and now you're also, you know, you have you have your you have your own your own uh, piece of the phone building, um, and uh, and we saw a lot of the guys just need more unlearning than than learning, right? Yes, so so true. That's so true. Yeah. And, it's, and I think that's all everything in life. You know, it's it's we we if you don't if you don't grow, you die, right? Everyone knows that. So how can you grow if you're not willing to leave behind things that doesn't let you grow? So yeah, it's all about identifying what holds you back and then really uh, taking that step of faith. Because if you already know the future, that means that you're living to the past. So you have to be open to, to the unknown and to see something new. That's how you, you learn. Because... That's the whole point, to, to be open to, to something new. That's what I believe. Oh, 100% agree, man. 100% agree. And coming from you, you know, you're doing so many things differently. Uh, but hey, bro, uh, let's, um, let's, let's, um, let's uh, use this for, for another chat. I got my boy Anthony here waiting for yes. us. We jump on the Thank, you, thank you for letting me in. 
So we talk later. I'm gonna be live and I'm gonna watch you now. I'm really excited. Thank you, Luca. Thank you, my man. Enjoy. Bye bye. Okay, now we go with Anthony. Boom. Thank you, Alec. Thank you, Alec, for that. So, guys, just a quick insight. Oh, what's up, man? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know you. <laughs> I was fixing something. I was like, I'm gonna come over and push the button. My bad. Hey, it's <laughs> king. <laughs> I love it. it got away. What's up, my man? How how are you? Good, man. My wife made me make some bacon. I was making uh, BLTs, and next thing I know, I'm like, I'm 15 minutes late for something, and I feel like an idiot. So my apologies. No worries, my man. No worries at all. We've been talking to my uh, to my trader here. He was he's actually running in the middle of the night there. Oh, nice. Um, I pull him in, bro. You look good. You look Thank good. you. It's been a long day. It's been, it's been a long. Uh, yeah. Usually my Fridays are, aren't this busy, but I've been at it like since like six thirty this morning. Uh, twelve hours. We're going on twelve hours, man. But, hey, it's the part of it. Like you, like your man just said, it boils down to who's willing to put the work in, where your mind's at when it comes time. How you doing though? Hundred percent, my friend. Hey, I'm doing exceptional, bro. Thank you for asking. Nice. Um, here is here is morning, nine a.m. Um, yeah, yeah. So. Today is gonna be a full day, man. Full day, full day. Uh, usually, yep. usually we take we take Saturday off, uh, you know, substitute for 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 Sunday, cause then Sunday is, is work day, so you prepare yeah. for the week. Yeah. But man, um, then at Sunday sometimes it's also something to do, and you know, <laughs> then it's a seven uh, seven day uh, work week. But it man, is. hey, you also work for yourself, right? You own a business. I own a business, man. I, I mean, you, literally, it's whatever I choose to do. But obviously, I don't do anything. Nothing happens. So I'm the same, man. I like this is tomorrow. I get to fill this in for the next, like, you know, extra four weeks leading out. So I live my life, man. I'm the same as you. I, I have to be the one accountable to me. But it's cool because I do. Like, I, I hold it down, man. I have no issues with anything. But what are, you, what, what are you doing? What is actually your core business? Yeah, my core business is coaching and then speaking. So obviously speaking is one of the things where nobody's doing it right now. The core business, however, is coaching. So I work uh, coaches. I coach coaches on developing more the, the mental game behind the scenes. So uh, everybody can get access to tools, techniques, strategies. Um, but I walk in and I pretty much I find areas where they have like little hidden pockets of opportunity inside their, their domes, their heads, and I extract it. And then I teach them how to, uh, how to architect and then activate what's called an ideal identity. I mean, as kids, if you think nice. about it, when we were kids, there's certain things we learned, or even like teenage years, and as we get older, we were, we were programmed to think certain ways about money and what's possible and hardships. And we, over time, we adjust these things, but we never do it uh, with intention. It just happens. It's kind of like that. I just went through the situation, I came out of it, I'm stronger, right? And so what I do is I go back and say, what, let's look at doing that with intention to reach a goal. So it's like, oh, hey, I want to build a coaching business or I want to be a speaker or I want to write a book. Whatever those things are, it's a lot that goes into that, as you know. And the headache isn't usually like information because it's all over the place. Everybody has books they haven't read. Everybody's a course they haven't finished. Yet they keep saying, I don't know why I can't seem to succeed. Part of you is programmed somewhere to be a little bit more lazy than you need to be or you make really good excuses and say, oh, well, it's not that. It's just the economy or it's this, this or this. But few people look in and say, man, is there something I can work on? Like, is there something that I could do better? And so I, I go and pull that out and say, look, it's not just mindset. It's how you, what you believe is possible. It's what you think about on a daily basis. It's the habits you have. It is part of the mindset. A lot of it's like the pride ego, but it's also like the actions, the big, bold ones you take that scare everybody else. Do you get scared like everybody else or do you dive in head first? So that's kind of my world, man. I coach and teach and speak and do all that fun stuff. Damn, man. So it's not, um, at, at first glance, I thought it's uh, more about uh, fitness and sports. But it's, no. okay, also well, business. Man, this is so good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm... sports, but I, I, uh, I, when I sold my gyms a couple of years ago, I, I delved into this. Like now it's, it's no fitness and sports. I mean, it's part of who I am, but yeah, I don't do that anymore. Amazing. Were you a pro athlete before or something like that? Yeah, used to play in the NFL. Well, seriously? Yeah, you didn't know? <laughs> no, man. No, no, no. Hey, sorry for that, yeah. but uh, but I don't know nothing about the people that I uh, that I that I take on. I just checked your Instagram five minutes ago. 
Oh, it's okay. Before, before that's the call. A, me, that's a good thing. I had a call with a guy earlier who we, we, he joined the programs, um, or he will. I think he's going to join the programs. But uh, but he had no idea who I was, which I enjoyed because then it's like then you're just listening because the you and me, yeah, nation is good. You get to know me because I mean, yeah, I, I play professional sports, but that's not who I am anymore. I was twelve years ago now, like twelve full years. Like that's not that's not me anymore. I'm a lot more than that. So a matter of just uh, kind of getting that dialed in and clarifying for people. So yeah, no more sports, but it's okay. Okay, but hundred percent that that was something that shaped you into who you are right now, huh? Yeah, I mean, when you spend, you know, we'll say 12 years of my life, almost 13 years, yeah. And it was the developmental years. It was as I was growing, like, you know, I started at 14 years old. So when you're that young and you go into your, your 20s and then you, you go into your first actual career, I had a kid, like, you know, that's it's who you are. And then if you lose that, like, I, I hurt my shoulder. And when I hurt my shoulder, I lost my career. So then now it's like I'm trying to figure out who is Anthony without football. And that was a difficult thing to have to figure out, man, because you don't know. You have to rebuild. And um, what, what, what would you say that was, like, um, the biggest takeaway from your career? What, did you, what is the, the, the strongest characteristics that, that were instilled in you because of, you know, you doing that stuff? Yeah, you know what it is? So in football, in anything, you, you work real hard, and then either you do or don't get what you want. Work really, really hard. <laughs> It. And if you don't get it, you make an excuse. Oh, well, it was, you know, this guy was better. Or, uh, you know, it just was the wrong timing. Or, you know, they, they the coach. Right, is the excuse. But the truth of it is, if you're good, you'll stay. That's it. Like, if you're good, you, they won't be able to not look at you, not work with you, not bring you on the team. So one of the biggest things I took away is, like, I, I do not really give excuses about anything that, that went wrong in my life or now goes on. If something goes wrong, I'm going to figure out what is it that I didn't do? Why was I not good enough to get that gig? And then I work harder. I don't make complaints. I don't get pissed. I'm like, all right, I got to work harder. And then I go do work. And then I come out later on much better. And that's what sports taught me. Very good stuff. Of course, that is, that is also a saying, be so, be so good that they cannot ignore you, right? That's it. Same thing, man. If, you, if you're good. You get, it's it. I think some some people get mad and they think, well, I did this like that person did, and I did this like that person did. But if you did it as good or better, you'd have that. Like, there's there's few politics. I mean, it's just it's the nature of the world. I mean, it's the, the survival of the fittest. In football, for me, like, if I wasn't good, I didn't have a job. That's how it is. In the world of what I do now, if I'm not good, I won't have a job. So you just got to be good. And if you don't have what you want right now, you got to get better. And that, that's a lot of the work I do. Like I, I tell people as an entrepreneur and what I do as a coach, when, when some, like say something goes wrong or I get this bad information or I get you know, some, something happens and I'm like, man, this sucks. There's a way that I can tell uh, based on how my brain works in successful entrepreneurs. We'll spend about five seconds feeling bad. Like, ah, that sucks. And then after about five seconds, a choice has to be made. It either automatically happens or it doesn't. For me, it's like, all right, how do I fix it? What can I do better? Where's the opportunity? What can I, can I start finding ways to find solutions, not excuses? Whereas people who don't do so well, the moment something goes bad, after five seconds, it's like five days, and then five weeks, and then five months, and there's excuses and excuses where it's like, I just, I want to figure it out and fix it and do what I can. So those who are successful are the ones that have like an identity of, of problem solving. Like if you, if you like puzzles, you'll be great as an entrepreneur. If you don't like puzzles, you're going to have problems. Hey, but I like for me it's so um, it's so unlogical, and 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 part of this uh, this shows is like you know to 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 bring it closer to the people that that um, you know it takes the same sauce to be successful in anything, pretty much same sauce, um, but people don't realize that like I, my theory is the same as yours, uh, but I just I, like in practice I say you know replace every negative thought with three positive. Yeah. As soon as, you know, as soon as you do this with one thought, then, then that is not, the, no, there is no more every thought because this one thought became three positive. So now you're occupied with that. Yeah. You, you don't have time for thinking of negative. And also for me, I operate from, from, uh, from good feelings. I don't mm -hmm. know if this is good and bad, but I, I always show up, even though if I feel like shit, but because I operate from good feeling, I will make sure that I feel good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Choose it. It's all a choice. Yeah. 
So how would I be now uh, able to spend a day, uh, you know, just contemplating about s some negative situation? I cannot do that, man. I'm, why would I be allowing myself to consciously be feeling bad? Yeah, wasting time. And then nobody gets any better. You don't get any better. It's, it's weird. But there, that's, a that's a difference. Yeah, it's, it's weird, yeah. Program. I, that's the thing is like when I, when I work with people, like that'll happen. They'll, they'll, we'll have something planned. They'll, they'll go do something and it won't work out. And they shut down and they're in a bad mood. And they call me, what should I do? And like, I, I don't do well with it. I'm like, to be honest, like qu quit crying. Like this is. <laughs> shut up, go work. Yeah, like you gotta go and from a place of love though. Like I'm not saying you, like you don't suck as a person, but damn, like this is, what's, what's you complaining and crying to me gonna do right now? So they didn't buy your program, get better. Like, how do we get better now? Let's go watch the video. Let's unpack it. And so that's the thing is some people go to that, that mental place and it's, it's difficult. And, uh, and it's like, you, you can, if you don't realize that it's because of some program and you haven't reprogrammed, you just get stuck there, a little bit. there forever. I'm here. I might have, I got frozen, I'm sure. But you got you to change. Yeah, my mom, my mom is really good at that. My mom is really good at that. Negative, negative, negative. Now she's changing. And I think that, you know, like people like you and me, I don't know how, wh how, what's your family like, but I'm going on therapies like with um, um, our subconscious that's a part of the company for our, uh, our Forex traders. And this is uh, like, it's, it's, it's like stocks. I don't know if you know anything about it, but it's like all mindset. It's all mindset, you know. It's uh, it's it's how you, how you deal with and and this is when you know um, you're under depression and shit. So this subconscious coach is, is, and I'm going in now every freaking week to clear out like trauma from the family and even from generations back side of us. I don't know if you believe in that stuff, but um, that is, that, that's conscious and in our, like, this, this uh, ch chakras and, and say, uh, if I want to go higher in life, if I want to earn more money, let's say, uh, you said that you work with your guys on, on believing in them now that is a practical standpoint, you know, stack up small wins and you're going to become confident. But then is that is also, you know, that, that where, um, where, where now through hypnosis, we this old shit and, and what it does, like people like you and me, we break the family. So now, because I started healing myself, I became a different person. I'm not, uh, uh, I'm turning in, in a whole different direction. My whole my whole family started to change. My grandma calls me, doesn't talk negative. And I ask. She, she used to call me and she says like, Luca, when are you gonna come home? Um, you know, cause 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 I moved to to India. When are you gonna come home? Versus now she calls me, but I didn't teach her nothing. I didn't talk to her. You know about this. I just fixed yeah. me. She goes like, Luca. Uh, like very good and she goes like when are you coming home not when are you coming home because i'm not gonna live much longer and then now i ask her like hey grandma how how long are you still gonna live you, you feel good right and she goes like yeah i feel good i think i'm gonna stay forever i never go home sorry what oh can you hear me you're freezing a little bit yeah yeah everybody i think as we all grow as people make family comes along but then you sometimes you start a new uh new tradition a new flow for your family yeah and it's like it's spiritual it breaks the cycle it's like yeah if you work on yourself it breaks the cycle from you now on your family your kids the new the new generations it's gonna be totally different it's gonna be totally different totally different like, so so I think, I'm, I'm the I only think like, uh was that go ahead you're the only one yeah, and I was saying I'm I'm the only person in my in my family, my siblings, like have a college degree. Like, I was I grew up in foster care, man. My mom gave me away when I was three, so I like I 
have literally rebuilt an entire structure of how the family rolls. So my kids generationally will have a vastly different upbringing than me. Yeah, man, for me, it's so, how old are you? 36. Okay, I'm 30. How old are the kids? My oldest is 15. My twins are 10. So I got three kids. Oh, man. Sheesh, you, start, you started young. I started yeah. young, man. Guy, he, he'll be a sophomore. He's got two more years of being in college. So I'll be 38 with a, with a college-aged kid. Nice, man. Having a young father, that must be nice. I didn't have a father. I didn't have a, I didn't have a father, but I think, I think it would be amazing. Now I want to be the guy, you know, the best friend and, and, and the best mentor to my kid, right? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's, they're still kids. They still do dumb kid stuff, but we got a good relationship. Like, we work, work out every day together. Like, me and him, we have good conversation. He's also a really smart kid. So, like, he doesn't give me problems, but he is going to be a kid. My youngest kids, my twins, those, they're little demons, man. They, they get into some craziness. <laughs> but, uh, but I'll be fine. Like, I think being a young dad, it, it's good for those kids. Like, their personalities. If I was an older dad, they'd walk all yeah. over me. So being a younger dad, like, they get to see me do what I do and talk and speak. So I think I get to see, like, cool dad. But then at the same time, like, I can still out there, you know, and, and be dad, dad, and have fun. But I'll still, like, I'll, I'll still compete, man. I'll still run around and play games. Like, I can still be active. I'm still young enough to. Still compete. Hey, bro, what would you say, what would you say is the number one thing that made you successful? Um, man. I wouldn't even, I would probably say the number one thing that made me successful was all of the, all the garbage in my life. Like all the really, really hard situations. I've, I've, I've had, I've got divorced. I've, you know, had my wife have an affair and then I've had to fix that. I've, I've been a bad dad, man. I've lost my mom. I've like, man, just craziness, you know, foster care stuff, being beaten as a kid, like a lot of craziness and all of that. I could have, and this, there's, there's two choices. I could be really good as a criminal or really yeah. good as the guy that I am because I'm an intelligent person. And so because of that, I could have been a really good criminal. Like I probably could have got away with a whole stuff. And so uh, that, that's my number one asset. There's, all, there's a statement I love, and it says, a smooth sea does not make a skilled sailor. Yeah. So whenever we have like, really easy lives and wish for them, it's like you, know, you end up having – the problems, because when you get older, you have problems. And if you don't know how to handle problems, you'll have more responsibility, uh, more on your plate. And then you still, and then when a problem happens, you have no idea how to handle it. So the biggest blessing I've had is like, I've had a lot of stuff in my life just fall apart. And as much as in the moment, nobody likes it. Like, you don't like it when it happens. I'm not saying like, yeah, problems. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But I think it happens, I'm like, all right. But get into this like five seconds in i'm like all right let's go to work let's figure this thing out what do i got to learn and and because of that that allows me to be successful and it also it allows me to pursue bigger dreams that most people be scared to go after so like there's there's things that i create op i create opportunities like i i create my economy of what i want to have income because i find little bubbles and i sneak into them and i just build and everybody else is like what are you doing i'm like i'm doing my thing but what if you what if you yeah but what if and like, what if I succeed? And then for me, I, I don't know how to stop until I have. Like, I don't have that, that part of me that's like, all right, this didn't work. Oh, I'm going to tuck my tail and walk away. I'm like, no, 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 let's keep going. And that's like sports, too. Because whenever you're in the middle of a game, like, you don't, you don't stop playing the game until the last second ticks off. And, and for me, like, life, there's, a, there's still a lot of the seconds to tick off. So, like, I'm not going to stop the game. So I keep showing up, and I keep showing up, and I keep showing up, and then – all of a sudden, is it overnight like success? Like this guy, where'd he come from? Like I've been back here working the whole time. You just looking, but I've been back here grinding. Here I am. Hey, I think that everything in life is training. So um, yeah, I, I I tell this I tell this to the people all the time, and I'm trying to be so mindful. Like every single thing you do is a training. So now we're gonna do two times, and you're gonna do it three times. And if you're good, you know, if you repeat it a few times, bro, you're getting good at it. So what yeah. are you repeating, man? What are yeah. you repeating? And I totally get you, man. When you say like uh, this, these struggles and problems in life, um, um, you know, shape you into in, into a, into a successful individual because uh, you have to fail to learn, right? 
So now yeah. either you're going to do it in life and then the business is going to run smoother from the get-go or you're not going to do it in life and then you're going to have to do it through business. Yeah. You're gonna, I mean, at some point, you're going to have to figure it out or you're going to go broke or you're going to have no friends and everybody's going to keep growing past you because people will do it. There's going to be people consistently climbing and you're going to go with them or, you're gonna, or you'll have to get really good at making up excuses that let you sleep better at night. Yes. Those people suck. And I, there's people that'll tell me stuff. Oh, I couldn't because of X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, man, I, I'm not better than you. I just have a better perspective on that thing. And the perspective is that's a stupid excuse to have your dream not come. But not bro, you know. But does it, for me, I don't. I don't do well with them. But I think the thing is, people need people like me. Like because if not, then the world stays stagnant. And I'm not the best in the world. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there there are a lot of people that that don't have that immediate thought. And so as coach like I come from a place of love and I tell them way in advance like my job my job is not to make you feel good about yourself like that's not it my job is not to say things that make you feel proud I'm going to celebrate when you win like when you do something great oh my gosh I'm gonna be your highest five in the world right because I know what it takes to get there but when you come to me and you didn't get that thing done that we planned last week I'm not going to listen to any excuse you have you didn't hire me to make you feel better about your excuses you already got yourself for that my job <laughs> is to say what along this line did you do the last, you know, seven days that didn't get that done? Like, what, what, why did you, why did you invest with me if you were just going to sit there? You could have saved your money and, and still not done it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so that's the thing is like, and I, and I nudge people and I, and I always go back to like, we got to get you nudged. And what happens the more they do it, the more you get into that. It's kind of like when you get bathed in like, in like uh, crazy, you get bathed. Okay. Like just always in like the, the places of, of tension. You get, you get used to it. It's normal. Like, I, yeah. I do really well. Like, in the crisis right now, the pandemic, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I have a, my, I'm great. I'm happy. I get, I get rest. I get my workouts in. I, I got dad. I'm dad. I'm hanging. We're playing hoops in the back. The business is growing. I'm good. And it's not because I'm better, because I'm not. I started off way behind the ball for most people. It's just that my brain, the moment it sees something, I'm like, let's solve this puzzle. I'm not, I'm not, it's not going to serve me to feel bad. Because then what happens is when you get in that space of darkness and quiet and, and, and scared and fearful, like the longer you stay in that space, the longer you stay in that space. Yeah. And it, it just gets darker and darker. And, and the happy. better you are at it. And I try to pull people out. But there's no amount of words I can say to you to make you feel better. Like I can, I can inspire you for a minute, right? But here's what does. If I can say the words that push you to take an action – and then you win, oh man, that's a different like woof, just pulls you up. So like that's why I celebrate. I'm like, hey, you got hey, you know what? Like we're killing. I got a client. She had she had no idea of a program she wanted to run when her business closed down a couple months ago, and we started a new idea. Within three days, I made her launch something. She didn't want to do it, and within four weeks of that moment, she made an extra six figures in her business that didn't Jeez. exist. And, and all it was was me like, no, 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 we're not going to sit down and do nothing. Let's do that. And we just put it together. She launched it and rolled. And it was awesome. It's awesome to watch. Like I celebrate the hell out of her. And that that's the kind of thing I create for people. Because that's not a strategy. Just that you, The strategy was simple. It was make this thing and put this thing out. The same one you could find a million ways to do it. It wasn't a strategy. And it wasn't even a difference in tools. It was a difference in how she operated. It was a difference in the, the mental strength she had and what she built for herself. And now she's she's got an award in British Columbia she is now in, in the British Columbia, in her area, she got the award for excellence in leadership. Didn't wow. exist before, right? And this is all just, and so she's a different human. She's launched membership programs now, like she's killing it. And that's the fun part for me. It's not the like, here, click this button, go to the landing page. Like, it's like, who are you behind the scenes where you just get fired up and when you share your message, people listen. People like they're drawn into you. Like, who, who are you when you show up? And if you do that right, everything blossoms. Yeah, man, I think it's it's really all about uh, about taking the small wins. That's what I teach my guys the same. I'm like, bro, if you yeah. don't feel good, you have to you have to make yourself feel good. So you're gonna be confident, so you're gonna be fired up, so you're gonna be driven. But you're not gonna be driven from from you know the Tony Robbins event that happens for a few minutes, but then it it, it blows off. You're gonna totally. be you're gonna be driven from small wins, and and that's why I create them routines, right? Yeah. In the morning, make your bed, go for a minute, uh, cold shower. You don't want to do it, you do it, you know? Anything mm -hmm. that you don't want to do and you do, in my mind, that's a win. 
It's yeah. like a mental win. And it just and imagine if you can stack up ten of these small wins. I know that you know this stuff, but like it's so easy, but people don't do it. Stack up for me. It fucks me over if I say, hey, I need to shoot a video for for my business, and uh, wow, it's already dark, you know. And you we know now the video is not gonna be good, but like, hey, man, you know, I have to do it because if Can't I'm not it. gonna do it now, it's a loss. So guess you what? Know. The next thing, yeah, I know. And the next thing I'm gonna have to do is gonna be, you know, coming from a state of loss, and it's gonna be so much harder to do it. Then just downward yeah. spiral. It always is. I think that's the thing is. Like what you just explained that legitimately, that's how my work is, the identity portion. The idea is to get this sense of confidence and ego about yourself and just think like, I'm amazing. But you can't get that if you keep failing at little stuff and you don't take the action. It's that little action. It's like, you know, an email I promised somebody I would write and I get to bed and I'm like, damn, I didn't write that. I could easily fall asleep, but I know that my pride will know I didn't do that. It's that little thing. So I'll get out of bed. I'll spend five minutes. I'll do that so I can go to sleep knowing, you know what? I'm of integrity. I said this thing. I did this thing. I got pride for it. And I can go to the next part of my day good. If not, you have to make an excuse for why you didn't do it to sleep good at yeah. night. And you don't yeah. get Lie better. to yourself. Lie to yourself. And then All expect day. that Anthony is going to now be your, the inner Anthony is going to be your best friend when you're lying to him. How All day. many friends, how much you love the friends that you lie to, man? <laughs> you don't. Exactly. Or that lie to you. You don't. I like it. I like your brain, man. You get it. You get it. I like it. I like yours. For, for me, it's like um, just uh, put it like in a in a very easy pra practical approach for people. You know, because people, I think a lot of times when they hear like that, that that's what it's, it's all about. Like, let's say I give you now a, a question: What is the advice you would give to an up and coming businessman? Now you're gonna give the answer, and a lot of people give the answer. And it's somewhat similar. A lot of times can come out cliche, like work mm -hmm. hard. But like, bro, what does this mean? Whole life I had like mentors, but I couldn't use their knowledge mm -hmm. just because I, I heard it. I was on Tony Robbins event. I, I, I went there. I rented a Ferrari to go to the Tony Robbins event. I had money and everything. But bro, did I actually was there on that event? I don't know, man, because I didn't understand half of the shit. I got it. I knew it. I was like writing notes down. But how to use that stuff? You know, yeah. how to say one negative thought, turn it to three positive. Okay, now I can do it. I know yeah. what it, you know, the action behind it. So what, yeah. what would you say is, is the advice you would give to an up and coming businessman? Up and coming businessman. Your um, what, it's a, I mean, that's a, that's a loaded question. There's so many things I would give them. So let's say that somebody's, you're talking about they just started or they're, they're already in the business and it's running. They're kind of doing something right now, you know. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, it's the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, I would get married to the process, not married to the outcome. Oh, so man. what happens is when I get married to the outcome, like let's say I want to lose weight, and all I'm worried about is losing 20 pounds. Every single day I will wake up, and I'll, I'll say, you know what? I didn't get 20 pounds. I'll feel bad. <laughs> and I could, I could have lost t 10 pounds, but you know what? I didn't lose 20, and I'll feel bad every day. And we got to operate from a joyous energy. And so and what happens eventually, if I see myself every day not there, I eventually stop. I'm like, I don't want to feel like this anymore. And I walk away. And so what I stopped doing was I stopped being married to the outcome. Now, I figured out what the steps would be to get to the outcome, what I needed to do consistently to get done. And then I got married to the process. So the reason businesses fail is because of lack of consistency. Even if you succeed once or twice, if you don't know why, because you have no process, you'll never duplicate it. You'll just hope you get it again in the future. So I'm really big on systems. Like have a system yeah. for everything you do. I don't care if it's like, when am I posting? Okay, if you're going to post, when are you thinking of ideas? When are you then creating content? When are you then scheduling it? When are you then posting it? When are you going to comment? Like what is the structure just for that? Like, when am I going to create my coaching programs? What's my structure there? What's my self-care process? And then what you do is there's going to be those things. Every day there will be a piece. And then like 7 to 7.15. 7, 15 to 8 o'clock, 8 to 9. Like, it's, it's throughout your day. Then get married to that. Because then every day you can wake up and, be, oh, man, I got yesterday done. And go through the day. And every night, like, oh, I got it. The same feeling you would feel for losing 20 pounds, it's like you it's the same feeling every single pound you lose, right? Same thing. So after a while, when you get used to that process, you'll wake up one day and be like, damn, I, I've, I hit a million dollars. I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like, and it's weird, but you just you get married to the process. Like the people I know that make money, they're like, yeah, I just, you get used to it. It's like, yeah, I made a million bucks, but it's not like lottery. It's not like, yeah, I'm one of my, like, 
It's like, yeah, I got there. Now let's keep the process going. Because they they want that process and they get more and they make more and they get more impact. They grow their clientele. It's just you get married to the process and you understand what that is, then it's easy. I call it effortless effort. That's well, my I'm friend. Slow. Yeah, but bro, like, you see, that's, that's what I'm all about. Married to the process, but who the fuck knows what that means? Anthony now explained us, hey, it means break it down to, to, to smaller goals, to all tasks that are going to get you to that goal, and then be happy when you do the task right. Because you day. know that each task done right is going to amount to the you know, smaller goals being achieved, and then the bigger goal is going to follow. It's so yeah. good, man. Little yeah, by little, yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's baby steps. It's that whole, uh, you know, just chip away, chip away, chip away. And then you're, then you're happy every day. And then it's not, that's not draining you. And then when you get there, you, you feel good and you get to celebrate. It's all good. As opposed to like, ah, oh, I didn't get that. I didn't get that every year. And, you, and what you do is start chasing shiny objects. You have a bunch of half-built houses. I, I kind of built that one and I went to this and I went to this. And now you're looking at saying, I got a bunch of half-built houses. I suck. As opposed to, I just, I built that house. Yeah, it started raining outside. I got back to the house. Yeah, it was a thunderstorm. I got back to the house. Tornado, I rebuilt it. I, ke I kept going back. And it was like, I'm going to build that one house. When it's done, damn, like, I got pride. Like, that was my blood, sweat, and tears. Built that house. Look how beautiful it is. The world loves it. That's the person you got to be. Not trying to find the next cool house to build because so-and-so said so. Because then you had nothing. Nothing's built. And then when you build that house, you now know how you built it. You now have a system, and now Anthony can reproduce and make more. Yeah, that's it. Then you get to the point of flow. And it's the Midas touch. That, that what, I, what I call like my work, I say, I'm trying to get people to have that Midas touch. Like anything you touch turns to gold. And the goal is for have like success to be your second nature. It's just what I do. I just touch things, and they work. How, Anthony? It's just who I am. I just I know in the moments, and when I flow into stuff, I'm going to figure this out before you will. And I'm just not going to stop if it messes up. And so because of that, I get that, that Midas touch. People are like, think about people we know. Like, how do they always succeed? It's just who they are. They don't, they don't know how to operate any different than they do. And that ends in success for them. So if you want that, operate more like that. Yeah. And, and for somebody that's constantly failing right now, the job is even easier. You, the only thing he needs to do is a, is a 180 turn, you know? What, yeah. Whatever you are doing now, it's obviously getting you the result that, you know, you have. is a no. Just flip it. You know, you think negative, think positive. You're not yeah. working, work. Work. Is that, is that easy, right? What's crazy? Yeah, is that easy? That's, that's it. But people don't do it. No, people it's it's it. mind-boggling. Exactly. It's yeah, so weird. True, true, true. But, man, come on. Like, uh, we got to be honest. Um, there was a time when you and me were at that point, right? Oh, Long I mean, I, I grew up. I, it, it's built. That's what you asked earlier, like how, how the sports, sports is part of it. My first business, with the first nine months of my, my gym business, I was almost bankrupt. I almost got evicted. Like, and for six years, every two weeks, I was scared because I couldn't afford payroll or rent every two weeks. And this, in 2013, I had to borrow $5,000 from my, my wife to get Christmas presents for my kids. This isn't, this isn't like uh, I woke up like this. <laughs> it's not like. I, I earned this, man. I, at this point in my life, like, I grind, and it's normal. I don't know what it's like to be lazy. It's weird to me. When I hear people say things, I don't get mad. I get confused. And then the confusion turned into, oh, they just haven't done the work yet. Let me show them how to do this work. And then that's, that's where my coaching comes in. I walk people through this to build what they want to build. And, I, I mean, I specialize with people who want to take a life experience. They want to get on the stage. Like, that's where I ease in. But man, it's, it's the same concept that can be applied to any human being. It's, it's not rocket science, but too many people in the moment that it matters, they mess it up. Because I don't care what you want you tell me. I can have a lot of people sit here and tell me right now, I'm going to be great, I'm going to kill it, I'm going to do it. It doesn't matter what you tell me now. It only matters what you do in the moment that it matters at that point. So if you feel yeah. good now, can you do it when it matters? Can you make that call? when it Can you step out on, on, on faith and take that risk? Yet? Can you do it in that moment? Because if you can't, you're going to you're gonna be in a cycle of suck over and over and over again. Yeah. Um, but, like, I think that how to be able to do it when it counts, you know, basically under pressure, right? It's just yeah. by stacking these small wins, just what we were talking about. So if I they agree. keep on stacking small wins, 
They got yeah. they they feel powerful and they they can take whatever. And what would yeah. you say to a successful businessman? What would be the advice to already a successful guy like something that already made me click? Those guys, you know what it is? Uh, drop the ego and take the lessons. Yeah. Because yes. when you're successful, the problem is you you think I got this, and, if, and the thing is, you don't want anybody to see a chink in your armor. You don't want anybody to see you sweat, and the ego rears up. And then what happens is all that amazing insight and knowledge you already have. It gets wasted because you won't you won't give yourself permission to be better. You won't step back and say, "All right, that person's right. All right, let me listen. I'll go." You think you think you have to be a big bravado guy? That was my downfall. <laughs> like I thought I knew every. I know it could tell me anything, and then I sucked. And at this point in my life, I'm like, "All right, I got a bunch of big dogs, but I have people that are like lower than me send me messages, and they think like you know they're gonna say something crazy." And I'm like, "You know what? You're right." I do need to work on that. Like that is something I can improve. And there's, they're, they're like, I never expected that from you. I'm like, well, if I'm going to tell you to get better, why would I not do the same thing to get better? Like I'm not perfect. I need views and I need insight. And so I think the big guys is pull the ego back, ask for insight, and then do the work too. Everybody, everybody has a new level. Everybody, I don't care. Who yeah, you are. that's what I'm about. Everybody has a new fucking level, bro. Everybody. That's what I freaking love. I love it. I love it. I love it. Amazing. <laughs> hey, uh, what is um, what is the book that had the most influence on you? Uh, Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's over here somewhere. I got these. It's Steve. So one of the it was my first kind of like book I read in personal development. To be honest, it was a good one because it gave me a chance to figure out how my brain works better than I understood my brain at the time. And I'm not mm. seeing it in my library, but um, but man, it was a really good one that like gave me a sense of like, all right, this is how I need to operate better as a human. Another good book um is from a like Habits, The Power of Habits. That's a good one. Um, Man Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Sparks a good one. Oh, I got a lot of books. I can't find Seven Habits. Um, Mastery. Oh, I like this one. Mastery is a good one. You guys haven't got that one. George Leonard, The Way of Aikido. He talks about um, it's kind. That's of, kind of in the sense of mindset. It's about how people start and stop things. But yeah, mastery is a good book too. There's a lot of them. The, the mind of Aikido. Yeah, it's because uh, the, the process the book goes through, like how certain people, like I, Aikido, is it's a, a beautiful process. I've never done it, but what they talk about in there is like you know. I did it. You did it. Oh yeah, you get to the point of rolling through, and like I guess it's arduous, crazy, in it right over time, and then after a while you get used to the. The grind so much that when you get to your belt, it talks about like it's like cool. Let me keep going. And then there's some people that if they get into some stuff and they start and they, it doesn't work out, they stop. Or some people have the, the the quick burst and then if the excitement disappears, they don't do it. Or or they'll get into it and they'll climb, climb, climb. But as soon as they get to the point of a peak, they try something new. They don't stay in stuff. Therefore, they don't. That's succeed. what I was doing. Yeah. So mastery is that it's a book about the way of Aikido. It's like you're you're seeking mastery, which is a consistent process. And I think what I look at that for the work I do is you're seeking mastery of self. Like I need to master myself, which means I'm going to have to get myself into positions that I don't like, that are uncomfortable, that I'm not phenomenal at, and figure out who I am. Then I can be a master of myself, which means I can master the world outside. I, I can't work. I can't create anything outside unless I know how to create something inside. And people hear this all the time, but they don't do the work. They don't figure out, like, what does that mean? And for me, it's like, you need to dig in the like your I tell your ideal identity. This is my work if we dig in. What are the six core drivers of your identity? Where do they stand? How do you show up? And how do you shift those to be able to create that person inside that can create their life they want outside? But I think that it's only recently, man, that that uh, that we hear this really highly successful businessmen actually talk about, you know, what we are talking now. You have to yeah. how to take care of the inside so the outside can because always when I was be listening to this business talks like maybe a few years ago they were yeah. always like how did they do it yeah i wrote 1000 emails yeah i was rejected by the bank 200 times blah 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 blah, blah. you know like yeah. but nobody was actually saying you know um how to be motivated how to get that 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 all of the things done with like yeah. these simple processes to take care of the inside first and now the world is getting big on that so uh um, yeah i th i think it's it's came closer to the to the little guy uh that the, the because yeah, everything is about feeling, right? It is. Everything it's all is connected, about how you man. feel. 
unfortunately, and then after a while, it needs to not be about feeling. Everybody operates on how they feel, and I find that we don't need to. Like, like I, if, yeah. I, if I went off my feelings, I wouldn't feel like getting up at 6 in the morning to get my workout in. And I wouldn't feel like, you know, writing the emails you're talking about. And I wouldn't feel like getting on and having an Instagram chat at 6, 7 o'clock at night. I wouldn't feel like it. But it's not about how I feel. It's about how I show up. So, like, I, am, I feel horrible that I was late. Like, that eats away at me because of my integrity. Like, that's, I'm going to lose sleep over that tonight. I don't, I don't like that. And so that's a part of Anthony. And that becomes something that's more than how I feel. It's who I'm acting out of alignment. It eats away at me. So I show up differently. Like, it's, just, it's a different way of thinking about how I do things. And that's what allows me to learn, read, create, put things out, and I just create, and I'm successful. It's not that I'm special at all. I just, I'm, I'm ruthless with my time, and I love Anthony, and I don't want to do anything to make Anthony not like Anthony. Yeah, 100%. So you see, that, and that's what I do, man. I break down, I break down, uh, and, and, and I go for the smaller things that make me feel good so I can do the thing like waking up in the morning that does make me feel good. You know what yeah. I mean? I know what you mean. That's the point. And bro, I think, I think for you now, uh, I'm usually late. Today I was on time. Wow, what a surprise, you know. I'm never on time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was, that was something that you just needed in your life. It's going to help did. you with, with solving for something else. Hey man, uh, before we finish up, uh, what is the product you're currently working on? What is the... Oh, yeah. So I, I'm writing a book, but there's, a, there's, so there's two coaching products that I launched in June 1st. And so it's, um, there's two, one's called Shift Starter, then there's a progression up. It's like an ascension to the Shift Incubator. The Shift Starter, it's all the same coaching stream, right? Then I got a mastermind called Shift Accelerator. But the Shift Starter is, is focused in pretty much unlocking all these things we talked about. Like, how do I, how do I literally like deteriorate the blocks that are keeping me broke? And then from there, get clarity on what I'm supposed to see, what I'm supposed to plan, what I'm supposed to create. So really, it's like, where do you want to see goals, plan goals, and, and pretty much achieve those? So like, once we have that block out of the way, now we can start creating that, that vision. And then the next program is we put it into action. Like those people who are saying, like, I've, I've, maybe I've been wanting to start a coaching program for a long time. I've been wanting to write that, that, that book or wanting to get on stage and speak. The only difference is those people don't have an idea of, like, what's the ideal identity? Like, what do they got to be? So I've already created that. I teach you what that is through actions. So I'm literally like saying, here are the steps. And the step I tell to create that person. And in, in the work I do, you need to have the actions to create the tension, to build the mindset, to build the, the confidence. To be, I, have to, I have to give you actions. If you don't take an action, you can't all of a sudden have confidence. So the actions I give you are actions that build the business. It's really, I mean, so it's simple. It's like it's a perfect merge. Like, all right, if you're gonna, I'm going to double dip. I'm going to transform your life while you achieve this cool thing. Those are the two programs. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and where can people get it? Oh, so I mean, it was, uh, if you go to your life elevated forward slash go or dot com forward slash go. So your life elevated, Y O U R life elevated dot com forward slash go. You can actually opt in, roll in, the, 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 everything. It's all there. Roll through and follow along. I'll put the link down here. I don't know if that actually yeah, works. Yeah, put it in. Put it in. Your life elevated dot. Oh, I don't want to do that dot com forward slash go so if you head there that'll take you to the place to do that and that's that's how it starts man go through that and then the, the team hops on a, a quick chat with you and breaks down we give us a call a personalized playbook so we do a, a call where we actually extract a lot from your head and where you're at and we give you a nine page report at the end of that free call and you can choose to take it doing your own or you can choose to join a program and roll with it from there totally up to you though amazing stuff man you're 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 a proper blessing my friend Hey, Appreciate um, it. Thank you so much for jumping on. Uh, I hope yeah. we stay in touch. Reach out, man. My inbox is open for you, bro. 100%. Mine too. Thank you. Enjoy, my All friend. Right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ciao. Okay, guys. So this was Elevate Circle, a show that we host like high-level individual successful people. Um, and then, uh, you know, we give them all the same questions and then let's see, you know, how they answer so we can maybe get some different insights of uh, the same questions that are in our head, you know, how these people got successful, how they are staying there, what needs to change in our lives so we can be better. And now we can finally understand. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.